Um, well, ready for school to be over? Yeah. No, people want to be here? All right, yes! <laughs> Learning, knowledge. Okay, well, I don't know if you heard this, but the world's oldest spider died recently at 43, beating the previous record. You're sad, that's good. I feel like a lot of you have killed spiders before, and then you hear that when you're like, oh, too bad, too bad. So, anyway, they beat the previous record by 15 years. Want to know what killed it? A wasp. That's right, your worst nightmare killed your other worst nightmare. <laughs> Further proving that wasps' only purpose in this world is to ruin everything. Their only friends are probably like Satan, or Steve Bannon, or philosophy majors. Could you imagine watching a documentary on wasps? Like, that would be terrifying. But at least it wouldn't be as bad as the Bee Movie. Uh. I feel like there's some fans of the Bee Movie in here. I'd like to talk with you after the show. I love Seinfeld as much as the other guy, but... According to the Tacoma News Tribune, a study has shown that very unattractive people make significantly more money than just unattractive people. So if you've been looking to improve your look, don't. <laughs> Just lean into the ugly. I mean, lots of people did it, like, like Trump. Oh. Or Zuckerberg. Oh. And I'm sure there's more examples out there. I'm sure they exist. <laughs> I haven't said anything. I don't... The Seahawks drafted twins. That's right, they drafted the Griffin brothers, who have an incredible story. However, coming from a Minnesota Twins fan, trust me, twins do not always get you wins. It's a rough season. Portland News said that cops dismantled a $50,000 Lego theft ring. Lego theft ring. It was like Ocean's Eleven, but instead of there being 11 people, they were 11 years old. <laughs> but as it turns out, it was actually a 40-year-old man living in his parents' basement, so pretty normal. <laughs> a truck carrying Starbucks products in Lewis County was found to have 126 pounds of meth in it. Yeah, no wonder people from Washington like their coffee so much. <laughs> I mean, where was that truck headed to? Bremerton? <laughs> I'm from Minnesota. I just hear things. I just hear things. A woman was sighted at a 7-Eleven after her urine sample blew up in the microwave. I know, ridiculous, right? Why can't she just microwave her urine at home like the rest of us? I mean, perhaps she was microwaving it because she was afraid of testing positive for drugs, but I'm not sure exposing her urine to radiation was the best way to fix that problem. <laughs> and it's especially a bad idea because when you add radiation to urine, it turns into this. <laughs> when college students get overwhelmed during finals, we usually just study for the important ones and an overwhelmed mailman kept and didn't deliver 17,000 letters because, but he said not to worry because he delivered the important ones. <laughs> How did he decide which ones were the important ones? I mean, who would be so arrogant as to filter information, delivering it to people based upon their own opinions? Uh... Oh, that's right, our news media, that's right. One person was like, yeah, get him, get him, Sam, one person. <laughs> Gun rights supporters told the Tacoma News Tribune, it's time to play offense. How terrifying is that statement? <laughs> Gun owners have been playing offense, and that's why people want gun control. And get this, the NRA banned guns at an event for Mike Pence for Mike Pence's safety. I... I know you're expecting a punchline, but come on, we're kind of just living them at this point, right? <laughs> I mean, everything is just one big punchline. It's all a joke. Everything from our news to our plans for after graduation. Uh. <laughs> 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 
So, Infinity War brought both blah, blah. Infinity War broke box office records. It had the best-selling opening weekend in history. It may not hold it for long, though, as the sequel to Mamma Mia comes out this summer. After this!